What's up guys? Hey, happy Wednesday. I hope you are all doing well. Hey, open your Bibles to Romans chapter 12. That's where we're going to be tonight. Um, I think we have a really cool lesson here tonight. And if you would just give me eight minutes, five, eight minutes of your time, which is not much at all, um, then you can, uh, you can go have dinner with your family and go hang out, uh, play video games, whatever y'all do. Um, so Romans chapter 12, let's go ahead and start out in verse 1, okay? Romans chapter 12, verse 1. Therefore, I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the measure of faith God has given you. Just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not uh, all have the same function, so in Christ, we who are many form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. We have different gifts according to the grace given to us. If a man's gift is prophesying, let him use it in proportion to his faith. If it is serving, let him serve. If it is teaching, let him teach. If it is encouraging, let him encourage. If it is contributing to the needs of others, then let him give generously. If it is leadership, let him govern diligently. If it is showing mercy, let him do it cheerfully. Now I know this is a, these are a lot of big words and uh, some of us might not understand it. I don't necessarily understand all of it, but I think I have an illustration to help us uh, visualize it a little bit more. And so I have this bag, okay? And I want you to imagine that this bag is you, okay? And then I have a little tiny globe, right? And this is the world, okay? God does not want us to conform to this world, meaning that he does not want the world to shape us. We don't want to be like the world, right? We want to be God's child. We are God's child. And so as a child of God, God wants to be able to mold us the way that he wants to. So we take the world out, okay? And then we just have us. The world just dropped on the floor. Haha. <laughs> anyway, so God wants to be able to mold us in whatever way that he deems fit. He can fold us, right? He can water us up into a ball, whatever. But we need to be able to be molded by God. Okay, so what are ways that we can allow God to mold us as children, right? We can read our Bible every day, right? The Bible is God's word, Okay, so if we are supposed to let God mold us, then we need to listen to what he's saying, right? You can obey your parents because God says, hey, children, obey your parents because this is good. And, and we want to do good in the sight of God, right? So we can obey our parents. We can read our Bible every day to, to listen to what he's telling us. We can pray to God, right? Because when we're praying, we're talking to God. We're having a conversation with God. We can ask him for whatever we need. We can ask him for forgiveness when we uh, don't do what we're supposed to, right? Which is really, really cool. And so these are just three of the ways that you might think about, hey, I'm gonna let God shape me and not let the world shape me. Because just like in Romans 12, we don't want to be transformed by the world. We want to be transformed by God and to do his will in his kingdom. So I hope you guys have a great week. Thanks for listening, and uh, let's close with a prayer. 
Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the wonderful and beautiful day that you've given us, the opportunity that we have to look into your, uh, to your word and uh, listen to you and what you have to say and to, to let you mold us. We thank you for uh, your son and the sacrifice that he made on the cross so that we can have eternity with you if we do your will, Lord. And I ask that you would help us to, to learn your will, to understand your will, and, and to be able to show our friends and our family uh, what you want us to, Lord. We thank you so much for every single one of the children uh, who are watching this video right now, and I ask that you bless them and their families this week. Give them guidance, give them safety, and all of these things we pray through Jesus. Amen.